We are back with another week of tier list. I forgot to do the tier list last week. I didn't forget. There was so much easier content we're farming, but it's fine. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to consider the most recent episodes. And Sunday or slash Monday is the cutoff. So, you know, Osan is technically a day behind. But first, anime. Let's talk about Wistoria. I think that Wistoria episode was actually fucking peak. It's either great or peak, right? Like... We finally had the resolution of Julian, Julius versus Will, and it was such a satisfying payoff, right? Because this motherfucker needs to be corrected. And the whole thing was this guy being so cocky that he has Elfie's origin magic, the one that creates clones. And yes, that is really OP. But what we didn't know was that two lackeys were literally helping him sustain those clones. And if he does it by himself, it's a really weakened version of it. And on top of that, his maximum output was 8. But the 2-year-old was making 10 clones. So, bro was so proud and arrogant about his projects, you know, his talents. But it turns out he got power crept by a 2-year-old. The punch was so satisfy satisfying, right? We just corrected his ass. Will had amazing animation. The fight sequences went crazy. It was overall just a pop-off episode. But the very end, you know, it's just like, oh man, Wignall got the best of us. The green elf, you know, the green elf actually won, but hey, it didn't matter. We never really cared about fighting and, you know, winning the, the games. It was all about settling this duel, the promise that we made so that he would apologize to the dwarves. So I'll put it in peak. We did get to see more of Elfie's personality in this play, right? She, so far, she was kind of cold and distant and, I don't know, mysterious. But now, she's just kind of a cute... I don't know. She's just cute, bubbly. Not really an airhead, but we get to see more of her personality. Next! Osan Newbie Adventurer! I think that the Pugilist arc right now, the tournament arc is definitely scratching my needs, right? A lot of cool power fantasy moments. The whole story is actually revolving around Angelica and her redemption arc. It's amazing. The most recent episode, which again, Osan Yubi Adventure, because we're doing this on like a Tuesday or Wednesday, and this comes out on Monday, and Monday's a cutoff. We're judging last week's episode. The most recent episode was fucking amazing, but still, I think that Osan Yubi Adventure, even though there's not many people watching it, it's still very fun and scratches that tournament arc itch that I love. And Angie had great moments. There's Fan service bunny suit shit. Maybe it should be good. Maybe it should be great. We'll just place it here for now. Next up. Let's talk about my dear friend Nokotan. The most recent episode. Uh, it was the deer shrine stuff, right? Yeah, yeah there's a the deer shrine stuff. And then they start to play board games in the second half. I don't know. There are some funny moments, but the jokes are not really hitting for me. Maybe it's mid. Maybe it's good. Is, is it mid? I don't know. I think it's mid. The animation quality is not lacking, but the jokes aren't hitting. So I'm going to call it mid. Doesn't mean it's bad. Doesn't mean it's good. Just meh. It's all right. Perry. This anime I'm usually fucking pissed off about, but... The most recent episode with them pairing the dragon, it was genuinely hype. Yes, the previous episodes with the misunderstandings were fucking annoying. It made me mad, but this was a pop-off episode, and he parried the dragon. The way he got sent there was funny as fuck. Everyone's witnessing it. Peak power fantasy, right? And the dragon could potentially become... It's most likely gonna be a lolly. I hope it's a milf. Maybe it should be here. It was a really good episode, though. I enjoyed it a lot, to the point where I might think it's peak, but... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I think with story was still on a different level compared to this. I'll put it like that. And maybe Osan should go down here like this? I'm not sure. Next! Failure frame! <sighs> it was just fan service, bro. In terms of... It was actually the best animated episode. It was straight up the best animated episode. There is not much fucking uh, CGI at all. And all of it was just... 
Sarah Sash for just the elf being so down, but why is she walking around with an aphrodisiac? Every dude that approaches her wants to rape her. She just has an aphrodisiac with her? What? Okay. Whatever. I don't think it's peak. It should be like here, right? Yeah, I think it should be like here. Honestly, the more I think about it, I, sh I feel like it should be like this. The more I think about it, maybe it should be like this. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about... I don't know. Because like the more points that we have in the graph, the more I can, you know, compare them relatively. But... I don't know. No, she had multiple different vials. And she said, oops, I put the aphrodisiac there. I didn't know. Tee -hee. It's like, are you serious, bitch? Really? Nah, you were sniffing his fucking clothes. I'm not sure. In relative to these episodes, I think Wistoria is peak. To you as a fucking viewer who probably hates that type of shows about anti-magic and cliche magic high schools, of course you're going to hate it. But in terms of my preference, and in terms of the different anime here, and I feel like this is it right now. Relative to what's on the graph, Wistoria is cut above everything else. But we'll see. We'll see. You love Black Clover, but you hate Wistoria? You're just a hater then. There's nothing about Wistoria that you could point out to hate. Like, what about Wistoria pisses you off? I think so far it's been fucking fantastic. Next. Ooh, Tower of God. Now, I'm not going to drop it. I think this is a good. I think that the whole new Emily plotline is amazing. But oh my god, dude. The animation against the fights are so bad. The, like, again. When you have a show where a big component of the show is the hype fights. You cannot fuck around with the animation like that. The Quatro versus Bomb shit was so lame. Straight up, like, just a PowerPoint presentation. It was so bad. The Emily plotline's interesting. The... What's it called? The workshop arc that it's leading up to is interesting. But again, it's just lackluster. I've already made a separate video on Tower of God right now. It's just lackluster. I think that it's definitely more entertaining than Nokotan, but I'm not sure... Hmm. Maybe it should be like this, guys. Maybe, maybe it should be like this. Right? Maybe this is a better representation of what's going on. Maybe. No, I feel like the story episode was actually that good. Do these guys come to that great tier? Perry, I honestly did enjoy a lot. But I don't think... It deserves it. This is just fan service. Baylor Frame was just fucking pure fan service. Osan was kind of set up and shit. Yeah, I think this is fine for now. Next up, let's talk about Tensura, bro. Tensura most recent episode was the eve of the festival. And you know what? I actually, it's probably, it's probably going to be either here or here, right? Um, the world building by introducing all the different leaders and having their interactions were very fun. Shuna was... Getting so fucking deep <laughs> with talking about the different dishes, about how each dish alone does not stand out, but together, by collaborating and working together, we can all, you know, be good together. That's supposed to relate to the different nations and the fucking politics and diplomacy at play. Yeah, we saw Hero and the Queen from Scarlet Bond, right? We saw Visions of Coleus too. There was um, Visions of Coleus people around as well. Um... Maybe top of good? Or was it great? Hmm. I mean... Was it that... Fun though? There were some fun moments. Hmm... It's still just a setup shit. I did... I did love the world building through the world leaders, but... Asides the... I mean, there was some stuff with the, you know, the Elf Queen, the Elf Emperor. They were literally cooking. Some Sky Queen Frey, Karyon bullshit, right? 
Millum and the fucking Red Melon dude getting corrected by Shuna. Hakuro Sashimi, Omakase style. Even the Roto family, you know, that girl being there. That was, that was good. Maybe, maybe it should be here. Nah, I'm gonna put it down here. I think like, like this. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Next up! Ooh. It's gonna peak, baby. Your Oshinoko right now is on another level. The power scaling of Oshinoko is better than Battle Shonen right now that's airing. Bro, everyone is activating their different stars. Aqua literally bit into Himekawa after activating his dark hole, bro, black hole, bro. It's it's amazing. I love it. The visuals are stunning. I'm actually immersed into the theatrics. And the power scaling is unironically hilarious and hype at the same time. Somehow, they were able to make this fucking show about acting, right? And theater and, and stuff like that into Battle Shonen. It's, it was peak. It was peak, bro. It was genuinely peak. I loved it. I fucking loved it, man. The last couple of Reo Snow Campus, ever since Melt Redemption Arc, which was the start of the theaters, it's been peak, 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 peak. Every episode has been peak. I'm not even glazing. Genuinely has been peak. And if I compare these two, maybe... We'll, we'll recalibrate. I think Wistoria was a hype episode, though. I loved it. The punch to Julius' face was so satisfying. Next up! Maki and Heroin! Oh my god. And, bro, I... Low-key think that Maki and Heroin... I think it's gonna go in great tier. The most recent episode was Lemon's Closure. Part of me is still pissed off about it. Lemon should have fucking won. Yeah, I get it. Lemon got the closure she wanted because she realized that Mitsuki actually did love her, but Lemon was too bright like a sun and Mitsuki was insecure. Fuck that guy, man. But Lemon got her closure. It was great. The visuals are stunning. The voice acting is stunning. Truly the best rom-com of this season. I think that Maki and Heroin is a better rom-com than Roshitere. Even if I even if I may enjoy Roshitori more than Makin, you know what I'm saying? I think that it truly could be the best rom-com of this season. It's genuinely so fun to watch. It is so fun to watch. It's not mid at all. There is A1 Pictures polish branded onto it. A1 Pictures is diabolical <laughs> with their fan service, but when they get down to it, when they lock in, man, they deliver beautiful products. Magical Girl and Evil Lieutenant Best Rom-Com? Oh, I haven't seen that yet. But of the rom-coms that we're watching right now, I think that Maki might be the best one, man. But that doesn't mean it's the best of the season because I haven't watched every rom-com this season yet. Next up! Isekai Shikaku! The most recent episode was... Bit of a power fantasy, right? The ending of... Tama's arc. Tama got awakened. Sensei no longer deports. He also buffs. Seems like he really alleviated the things that were blocking Tama from a, you know, awakening that king legendary divine beast crest, whatever, that got sealed away subconsciously due to her dad and the relationship with them, right? It wasn't my favorite, but it was really hype episode. I don't think it's peak per sure, but I think that it's definitely great. And... <laughs> For whatever reason, the fight scene in that episode was more hyped than Urak Majino vs. Bam in Tower of God, which is... Even Osan Navy Adventure has better fight scenes than this. Oshinoko has better fight scenes than Tower of God. I want you to realize how stupid this is. Oshinoko has better fight animations. Better hype. And Tower of God. What the fuck is going on here? What is happening? Uh, next up, the final anime on this list is Roshitere. And Roshitere might be here or here. It was the presidential election debate. No. <laughs> it was a debate. And the debates were pretty good. And here's the thing. While I appreciate the debates, I don't think... I think that the most people that watches Roshitere gives a fuck about the election arc right now. I think people just care about Yuki saying Gwen says shit. The viewership is so obvious, bro. When Yuki has a scene to say incest stuff, easy 
15k plus views in the first week. Easy. If no Yuki incest stuff, slow rise to 7-10k after a week. <laughs> I think that it was a great episode. I think that in terms of, you know, these two, like the animation and the pop-off shit, Masatsuka coming to bail Yuki out, sorry, Alia out, is something I don't like. But this time, Alia did 1v2. She did better than before compared to the soccer club and the baseball club stuff where Masatsuka had to completely bail her out. Alia did grow. She did develop. It's just, damn, Masatsuka had to step in again, huh? It was 2v1, though. We got to see Hayasaka, right? Hayasaka's... It's the Hayasaka verse, man. She exists in every anime. Uh, Nonon is pretty interesting. People are saying that the real Ayana Koji is Nonon, man. <laughs> Nonon is the true Ayana Koji of the show. I mean, she was on her phone and she was had like paid actors. She was using tools like that, so like maybe? I'm not sure. The whole Taniyama stuff, the whole Taniyama stuff was so lame. Taniyama stuff was actually so fucking lame, man. She's a parasocial weirdo. That rooted for Masatsuka Yuki ship the most, and that's why she was mad. It's like, what the fuck are you getting mad at behalf of? But then she immediately corrects herself. The oh, the level of awareness Taniyama also has, as soon as she, you know, um, gets corrected, is actually shocking too, because she always knew, so it's like, whatever. But I think this is pretty fair for the tier list, right? Nothing really in Duki tier. It's unfortunate what's going on with Tower of God. We've already talked about it in a separate video. Nokotan, jokes aren't hitting. Uh, these are pretty good overall. These are great. And the peaks, and I think these two truly did stand out in the most recent episode of the anime that I've seen. And that's it, man. This is our most recent tier list. And if you're gonna get mad, you wanna cry because I say your favorite anime sucks? Go fuck yourself! Make your own tier list and I'm gonna show up and say your tier list sucks then you'll realize how annoying you are. See you next time.